Well, happy Earth Day. <laughs> yeah, I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, I've been preparing for our experiment. And uh, plus, I've had a little time out in the garden to uh, just enjoy the beauty of nature. And I guess this is the day to do that. And so um, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to um, do the soil test. And then we'll just go outside and just enjoy nature a little bit, okay? And so, um, yeah, I don't want to take too long. So come on, let's get started. Okay, I've got our work area set up for the um, soil test. And what you need is distilled water. I've got the little tubes that came in the kit. You can see they're marked. Can you see that? How they have the lines on them? Because it says to fill, fill them up to the pores a lot of the times. I've got soil, plastic spoon, and capsules, and a cup, which I'll need. Okay, so let's get started here. Okay, the first test we're going to do is the pH test. So I've got the um, tube, got the capsules here. Either Soil. And where did I put the little dropper? Here's the little dropper. I didn't show you that and things that we need. So the first line is right there. Right there. So we're going to try to get our dirt into right there. Hmm, maybe I should have made myself a little sieve. I think we got it there. Empty in the capsule. There we go. Make sure I got everything in. I still got stuff down there on the bottom. A little bit over here too. Then we need to fill it with water to the uh, fourth line. Let me lift this up a little bit. A little more water. There we go. Put the cap back on. Give it a shake. Give it a good mix. Now let's look and see what we got going on here. Allow soil to settle and the color to develop about a minute. can tell but I can it looks like it's um like 6.5 slightly acid I'll keep an eye on that and if it doesn't change then we can take it outside and take a look at it in the sun it'll be better for us now for the next three tests yeah We've got more water deal to deal with here. It says to put um, one, port, one part soil to five parts water. So we're going to dig in here. One. I didn't do a very good job of... Two. There was a piece of wood in there, you guys. Then we're going to have 10 teaspoons of water. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This gets a good stir for about a minute. And then this also has to set. It needs to set about 30 minutes or so. So while this is setting, we'll be able to go out and take a little look in the garden. And then when we come back in, we'll have things ready. Here are the little tomatoes. You can see they've decided to really be happy and grow. These are the ones Quiet put in. Um, um, Easter weekend. Here's the one that was doing kind of sickly. It's kind of looking better. A little Epsom salt and an aspirin. Got a bloom on this one already. This week I need to get them um, in cages. Quiet was asking for a look at the um, green beans. that. Okay, they can get over there for me to get to it. They was wanting to see the green beans. They're coming up really nice. I was curious how the zucchinis were doing. They're doing good. This is the Swiss chard that's up the hill. You can see some of it is just going to seed. And what is that on there? Looks like I'm gonna have to get the oils out and start spraying up here already. Looks like I've got aphids. I will be very happy to find out he's got um, his sweet potatoes have come up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll have to do an accurate count here. There's another one that's doing good. And another one. And another one. <laughs> That's my alarm, you guys. It's time for us to go in. For those of you that like nasturtiums, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That whole hill. This is the last look at um, the outdoors that we're going to do today. You see they've got leaves growing up behind and the flower. It's about open. Won't be long. I'm going to get rid of these leaves, the dead ones. Well, let's go in and finish our experiment. Okay. Each one of these uh, tests has its own uh, color peel. It's correlated with the uh, cap, color of the cap. And we have to put water in each one of these tubes. I need to fill it to the fourth line. That is one, two, three, four. That's this one up here. So let's see if I've got enough water to do this. I'm going to go below the surface, but not all the way to the bottom. Oop. I think I have to do it twice. Got one done. I'll do that one. Like that a little bit more. Am I going to make it? I'm getting dirty water now. Let me see if I can just tip it a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, just made it. Okay. I 
Let's see if this comes easier for me this time. Yep, easier. And this one. This one a little topsy turvy. Here's the last one. Hmm. Okay, there we go. See? That's the potash. shake. You need to allow 10 minutes for the color to change. Okay, let's go take a quick look at the project while we're waiting. Okay, here's another quick review. I am not too sure if I keep saying that this um, project is um, from Crochet Crowd, and I will put the final video in the uh, drop-down list. So this is a quick review. That's the first where we made and here's the second there's the third and what do you think of that there's number four yeah now the next time you see these it's going to be a finished project okay I, I really like that don't you like that yeah Well, I guess that's all I have for uh, Earth Day 2018, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let these um, the tubes set just another 5-10 minutes. And then I'll put the readings in the description box when I'm done. So um, with that being said, I guess that's all I have for today. And so I want to thank you for spending some time with me. And um, <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy our time together. And it's nice to have a second set of eyes. And um, yeah. And so until Wednesday, I'll say goodbye for now. See you then. Okay. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye.